Hello, welcome to this video of the SSF or Steady State Fate Autodyne. Let's check out what's to come before we get into it. Now the Autodyne is a 4 HP analog compressor with plenty of character in there as well. We have our input and our output. Compression is handled on a single knob that looks after ratio, threshold, attack release, some makeup gain. Really nice, easy to use, characterful analog compression all just on that knob. There's plenty of gain on tap that we can reduce or add gain. Some nice analog saturation and clipping that we explore in this video and a dry wet blend allowing us to do the New York style compression or parallel compression where we maybe compress that bit further than we want, bit harder than we want and dial some of that dry sound back in to bring in some of those cleaner transients and dry sound. Now we have the side chain input for classic pumping and one of my favourite little kind of mix tricks that we look at later in the video as well. Now the detection circuit, if there isn't a sidechain input, is looking at the input and we can filter this input. Now this doesn't filter the actual sound of the input, either dry or processed, that filters the sound in the detection circuit. So if you've got bass heavy beats and you just want to take some of that low end out to change the behaviour and sound of this compressor, you can flick in the sidechain filter, choose 80 hertz, 150 hertz or 330 hertz and just filter it out and it's really obvious and I hope it's really obvious in the video what that's doing to change the behaviour. The timing index is on screen, do skip around if you wish, open up the description under this video and you can skip through the various patches. Let's dive in. So for this first patch let's just really look at the sound and features. As we know, because we've just gone through the features, really nice simple unit, it's got great sound, so let's just explore that. Here's a full mix, here it is fully dry, a little echo lead line, bass, some drums, sidechain filter is off, here we are fully wet, blend up full, let's just bring that compression round. Kick is the first thing I noticed start to change. Starting to get a lot of snap in there. Right through to harder compression. Now of course, a New York style parallel compression by blending the dry and wet means you can get all that snap, weight and energy. Bring in some of that dry to bring some clarity in those transients from the original dry sound back in. Now we'll come to makeup game for distortion in a second, but let's just explore the sidechain filter. So without a sidechain input, this is going to sidechain against itself as we've discussed, but let's look at filtering it. Fully compressed, super snappy, heavy compression. But if we turn on the sidechain filter, it's gonna filter out some of the low end in that input going to let more of the low end through and not give us as heavy kind of pumping because the compressor won't react to as much low end. Now it won't filter the low end coming through the circuit just in the detection circuit. Listen to the behaviour change. Kind of tight a bass drum shape to my ears. And then the actual filter cut off lot more low end coming through and then the kicks really coming through compressions aren't really clamping down on it as much so the side chain filter and the blend that single smooth compressed control it's really easy to get a lot of compression that's not as destructive with a side chain filter 
Now, let me turn down my channel on the mixer, just to give me some headroom, and let's pump up that gain on the Autodyne. Really nice, chunky saturation. And the analog clipping is obviously responding to the input signal. Let's play around with a sidechain filter. Oof. Oh, I'll have a bit of that. So plenty of gain, analog saturation if you want it, sidechain filter great for changing the behaviour of the compression, nice over a mix, nice over a beat. So let's dive into all those patches. So here's my beat fully dry, let's get that compressed, find a nice blend that we like, maybe sidechain filter it. I mean, it's nice just really pumping it with a compression full and blending some dry back in, but I think around there has got the kind of snap I want. Keep some sidechain filter. That gives the low end a lot of push. Bring some dry back. A nice wonky beat here, let's just check it out dry. And again, just find a nice compression and kind of processed place for this to sit. Sidechain filter off. And I like that really over processed vibe there. So just blend a bit of it in really brought up that Quanta noise source, which is kind of emulating vinyl crackle here. So here's a reminder that compression really isn't just for beats, but it's great for droning, ambient sounds, where there's some dynamics to play with too. Just really brings forward this kind of granular effects trail. So again, another quick little beat, this time some rather sporadic IDM, DMB, whatever acronym you want to throw at it, but a scattered complex beat. It's got fully wet, find a compression that we like, and it really is as simple as just turning this knob. Maybe add a bit of drive. Suitably fat and kind of crunchy. Bit of dry back in. So here's a super obvious example of the sidechain. Kick drum, sidechained hi hat and bass. Play around with the envelope of the bass. Really hear that pump in. And removing the sidechain, which is the kick. This is my sound. Let's make it long. 16th note hi-hat. Droning bass. Obviously compressing it. It's just gonna make it quieter. That bass is just droning things out. There's nothing really to work with there. But then we add the kick drum for the side chain. Get a level of side chain that we want. And you can hear it, it'll do more subtle pumping, but let's just go full on kick drum back in on my mixer again which is the same thing that's coming into this sidechain input play with the envelope of my bass that's feeding the autodyne it does a great sidechain pumping so here's one of my absolute favorite mix tricks regarding big effects ambience and textures within music Here's my fully dry sound, nothing to do with my effects or the autodyne. No points for guessing which module that is. And here's the effects chain. Can you hear it side chaining? Kind of 
pumping and swelling, quickly ducking out of the way there. But you can't really hear it when I bring that dry sound back in. It's super clear because I can get tons of this reverb without drowning out the dry sound. Again, taking out the dry sound, we hear that ducking, but when it's in, we can't really tell it's there. Now, removing the side chain, go back across to no kind of volume boost and a dry blend. Dry sound, wet sound through Autodyne, but fully dry in this case. Now just compressing these reverb tails, this is one reflective spring room-like verb into a lush long one. Let's pull the gain up. You can of course boost it, but compressing the tail of this reverb. And we just get this lovely thickness that we don't get. From the dry sound. And just backing that off before it starts to kind of overly compress, gets great lush reverb trail. But adding in the dry sound, just been split in a buffered multiple, compress up full, and keep all that clarity in the dry input by making this wet sound through the Autodyne duck out of the way. So this dry sound can come through. So this is simply side chaining your wet processed reverbs, delays, effects, textures against the dry sound. Here using Autodyne. Fantastic mix trick for keeping your dry sounds clear, lots of clarity in them, but pulling loads of texture and reverb up without drowning out the mix. So here we have a full mix of drums, bass, and a little melodic line. And just brought that mix together really nice, treating the Autodyne like a kind of mix bus over this mono mix. It's just brought some life out. Here it is dry, and let's try and level match it. You can hear that snap. You can obviously push it really far. Bring in that sidechain filter to let the low through. A little bit of dry blended back in. Nice snappy drums, bass sounding good. And it's great just having this little analog compressor that is Autodyne in the rack. Great high quality components, great sound as you'd expect from Steady State Fate. Nice, simple, easy to work with. That's the Autodyne. Hit like, subscribe, support my work on patreon.com forward slash divkid. Give me a thumbs up if you like the work I do. Leave a comment. See you next time.